Hello everyone. Today we are going to implement this uh, arrow rain system using Unreal Engine Niagara Particle System. So, yeah, here is the preview. Okay, so uh, this is a simple level I have created in Unreal Engine 5. Actually, I haven't created anything, it's just the uh, default open world map with the third person character and this is some free object I downloaded so yeah so let's start creating our arrow rain particle so for that I have already imported this arrow object mesh so make sure that the pivot of this object is in the tip of the arrow so that would make things easier uh, otherwise it would be a little bit complicated so yeah let's create an agara system new system from selected emitters i'll choose uh, 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 this upward mesh burst okay and finish and yes So yeah, by default we have this arrow object, but I'm gonna change it to under meshes. This is the object. So I'm gonna change it to the arrow object. This one I have already imported. Right. So this is what we get. And I'm gonna disable this scale mesh size module because we don't need to scale it we only need to we need to have a constant size and uh, uh, here let's have a bit larger uh, lifetimes like something in between 9 and 11 the reason is uh, because uh, these arrows has to fly a longer distance so they need to have a higher lifetime and add velocity in cone so uh, let's first put this in our level to get the feeling of the scale but as you can see it's very small also uh, what I want to do is it should be shot from here from the castle to over there where the character is so Right and also it has to loop so to fix the loop here. I'll set loop Behavior to infinite and loop duration How about five? Okay, and let's add a box location module. So particle will be so shape location, and under shape, select box. X. Uh, let's have it something like. 3000 because the arrows should be spawned from a larger area wide area right and they should act more like arrows this is like flying away so i'll say the velocity cone to x also one so this will be shot in a angle with 45 degrees so for an angle let's reduce this to 20 right oh wait so this x should be smaller y should be uh, wider right see 
Wait, why is this white? Send material applied to automatically. Right. Okay. So we don't have to override the material. Okay. Now we have the arrows. Great. So they should have gravity and they should have much higher speed. So let's first add gravity. No. Speed. Something like 3000 or 2900. 3,100 okay and they are going infinitely upward so let's add gravity now you can see they drop here see but they don't uh, stop on the ground they keep penetrating so yeah first let's increase this rate how oh, about 100 okay and actually uh, the arrow should not have this much of a higher variation in scale so let's set it something like well they no, don't need to have a scale variation at all so let's set it to one okay now to enable collisions because they should not penetrate the ground um, let's add a collision module okay they bounce they don't need to bounce see restitution let's set to zero so they won't bounce uh, right before that one major problem i have is the arrows are not visible uh, actually the reason is i think anti-aliasing uh, but we may have to do some trick to avoid that maybe just temporarily scaling up other other than that i don't see any solution to make them visible so oh. Yeah, under particle update let's add scale mesh size uh, and load scale float oh wait we only need one float so let's let's multiply vector by float and convert this one to a curve right so uh, the curve index is normalized age so let's just use particle age uh, so we have the particle have so to go from here to maybe up here it will take only about one second i think so when the arrows are near it should be larger so uh, this is initial scale and end scale should be one can we make this a bit larger This one maybe 
useful. Right. This is point five. This is zero. Here, let's make this scale ten. Let's make this uh, auto. Right, let's see how it looks. See, now it is visible in the distance. Uh, but it's not visible enough. add another key make this one also auto right that seems uh, good enough maybe this doesn't have to be should be like eight, you know. Right. Okay. So they should stop and they hit. I already added the collision. What happens? Yeah, they are moving on the ground. So, so their vertical speed stops, but the horizontal speed does not. So, for that, let's set the friction to one. And this one also one. Alright, they are stopped, but they are inside the ground. No, they don't stop. Uh, but one thing we have is, see, uh, they end up vertical. See, so the reason is because this mesh facing mode is to velocity that's one issue let me set this to default so they will be the arrows will be horizontal all the time and then there is something called flight variation in unreal 4 uh, orientation right this is what we have let's try this now this one right orientation okay let's try that right now you we'll see particles stop great but many of them end up uh, horizontal will that reduce if i increase this uh, friction. Let's try something like five. Yeah, let's see if so. Okay. Uh, let's increase the size a bit. I think scale two would be better. Play the game and see. Right, 
actually now that I have used two I have to adjust this one also damage size or maybe we can adjust the scale from here and keep the initial scale at one Wait. Wait. Why is this guy have appear twice? That seems like a bug. Ah oh, no. Maybe let's remove this game mode. Oh, now we have this sphere. But it only appears in the location where we start playing. So yeah, over there. Okay, so here is our arrow ray. Shall we increase the race rate? About six hundred. Okay, so I'm going to stop this episode right here. Uh, and thanks for watching. So as always, project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you'd like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon See you in another episode. Next time I wish to implement a fire arrow system by extending the same particle effect.